All right, guys, Hogwarts Legacy just released, and man, did the game get some really good reviews. However, the thing dominating the conversation on the internet is not about the great reviews. It's not even about the game itself. It's all about the game's world's creator, JK Rowling. Now, before we really get into this, I want to start the video off by pulling up the original tweet that Rowling posted back in 2019 that started the whole ordeal of the cancel war against her. Here's the tweet. Dress however you like, call yourself whatever you like, sleep with any consenting adult who you'll have, live your best life in peace and security, but force women out of their jobs for stating sex is real, hashtag stand with Maya, hashtag this is not a drill. So just in case you're wondering, the hashtag stand with Maya is referring to Maya Forstar, a British researcher who lost her job at a nonprofit following a series of tweets that were considered to be transphobic. I couldn't actually find those treats but the general census is that Mayo was tweeting that men could not be turned into women and women could not be turned into men. Now, definitely look this up if you wanna get more information. That's just a very brief overview, but I don't wanna make an hour long video going into all the details. Since then, JK Rowling has made other tweets that we'll put up on the screen. She also even made a book about a cross dressing serial killer. So yes, as you can imagine, the controversy has definitely gone up a few notches since the whole ordeal started. However, I've seen a lot of content creators say they don't support her and they think she's a weirdo or whatever without providing any sort of tweets or context. They just blindly say that. So I wanted to put this up on the screen, have you guys see the tweets, decide for yourselves. I'm not gonna get up on a pedestal and preach my personal opinion on the matter. I've decided to go this route instead. So with all that out of the way, Let's get into Hogwarts Legacy and the severe backlash this game has caused on the online community. But before we do that, I wanna take a brief moment and welcome anyone new to the channel. If you are new, please consider subscribing. I got a ton of stuff in the works that I love to share with you all. Also, if you do happen to enjoy the video, let me know by dropping a like. But anyways, guys, we got a lot to get into, so without further ado, let's get into it. So yes, the game has come out, and boy, is it getting amazing reviews from both major news outlets, at least the ones that are not boycotting the game, and from YouTubers alike. However, people have already came out and accused these reviewers of being paid off, stating the game only got good reviews because Warner Brothers paid for them. Not only this, but the people that got early access to the game and decided to take to their Twitch account to stream it were under attack. One creator was Girlfriend Review, and during their stream, the chat verbally attacked the couple and abused them to the point that one of them had a started to cry and they had to end the stream early. In fact, Twitch itself is under fire. Some content creators have called to halt all ads on Twitch while the Hogwarts Legacy ad is live. However, this most likely won't go anywhere because it seems anyone that's going to boycott Twitch while Hogwarts Legacy ad is up is pretty much a small time streamer anyways. At the time of this recording, no large streamer has come out and said they're gonna boycott Twitch. So unless something changes, yeah, it's just a couple of small content creators. Not knocking them, some of them have a much larger following than me, but I'm not delusional. Just because I'm extremely small doesn't make them not small. I've also seen tweets of people saying they're not going to buy the game, but instead are going to wait for the game to be cracked so they could download it illegally, which is bizarre. It, it makes me wonder, you're not really boycotting the game if you're going to download it illegally, especially if you're going to make content on it. it. It's just, if you're going to boycott it, just boycott it. I have much more respect for that. I don't understand why all of a sudden thievery is considered justified because you don't agree with the con or the JK Rowling, but whatever, I guess support the developers is out the window. One has to wonder is just, is this going to be the new norm going forward? I hope not. 
but you already see boy cops creeping up for the upcoming atomic hearts game so are we just gonna boycott any sort of game that has any sort of outside forces that we disagree with it's just truly bizarre that gaming has become so political that you can't even play a game without trying to justify it to your viewers why you're enjoying a certain product or not i don't think content creators should be forced to bend the knee to viewers and justify playing a video game and explain why they're not a bigot. On the other hand, if you're a viewer, look at the content creators. If they support this game and wanna stream it, and you definitely do not support the game, either don't support that stream that they're on or unfollow from them, unsubscribe from their channel. If it means that much for, for you, you have every right to do that. And if you truly think they're being a bigot, don't support them. And on the other hand, if you think this whole situation is blown out of proportion and you got some content creator trying to preach to you why it's bad and you don't wanna hear it, unsubscribe from them as well. You're not forced to subscribe to anyone and content creators are not forced to do what the viewers want honestly at the end of the day it's a relationship and if you, they can't respect their viewers but you can't respect the creator as a person maybe just time to cut ties but what do i know i only have 72 subscribers on the channel i'm brand new to this so maybe i'm just an idiot that doesn't know anything at all i do know the drama surrounding this game is incredible and most likely it's going to overshadow the game itself which is truly a shame i do want to point out i know it won't happen because so many other games are coming out but if this game actually was a game of the year nom nominee, I think the backlash would be even worse. Imagine if you turn on the game awards and Jeff Keighley has to come out and give a speech how the award show supports the developers, but does not agree with JK Rowling. And he has to give this virtual signaling speech. I have no idea how it'll go. They most likely will just avoid this game at all costs. But I wanna hear what you all think. Do you agree with the boycott? Do you disagree with it? Are you Excited to play Hogwarts Legacy? Let me know in the comments down below. As for me, I got a ton of work to do, so I'm gonna get back to the grind and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.